Hello guys, this is JNM and in this tutorial series I will show you the complete workflow and pipeline on how to create a game asset. I show the full process of creating the model from the high poly to the low poly version. The game asset will be a stylized pillar, so let's open Blender 2.78 and create the base mesh. I start with a simple cube for adding the foot. Then I select the top face and add an inset by pressing the I key. Then I extrude out the column in Z direction. And after that I box select the lower part, duplicate it in edit mode and rotate it 180 degrees. Then I snap it with edge snapping to the upper edge of the column. After that don't forget to select all vertices and remove the doubles. And here's our base mesh. Okay, what I'm going to do now is to select all the faces of the inner column and add an inset by pressing the I key and then type 0.2. After that I select each face and press E to extrude it inwards. Alright, before we start the sculpting process to stylize this model and turn it into a high poly model, I will add a bevel modifier to it to get nice beveled edges. Then I add a multi-resolution modifier to start sculpting with a higher resolution. Great, so let's get started with the sculpting process and I will use some very cool sculpting brushes from Planswap. The link is added to the description below. The alphas are originated by Michael Vicente AKORB from Blizzard. I won't go too much into detail here, the goal is just to create a high poly model. The brushes I use most of the time here is the ORB flatten and the slash brush. I enable dynamic topology with a high relative detail. This means the more I zoom in, the more detail is used for my sculpting. For the edges I use most of the time the ORB flatten brush and to add the cracks I switch to the slash brush. I'm sculpting here with the mouse so I use an average strength for the brushes. So for the sake of this tutorial this is detailed enough, of course you could go ahead and add in more and more details. In the next part I will show you how to retopo this model and then how to bake the normals, curvature and ambient occlusion of the high poly version to add it to the low poly model. Guys I hope you liked this video and the topic of this tutorial series and if you do don't forget to subscribe to not miss the next part. 
Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support and come back soon to JNM.